Hey guys, that is here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a MIDI manager, talk a little bit about the tech states, um, create and set up a MIDI weapon, and how to equip this weapon into a character. In the previous tutorial, we show how to create your character, how to organize, organize your project. Uh, we talk a little bit about some options here. Uh, make sure that you create a melee controller. If you create a base controller, we already show the only difference is the input script here. You can remove the third person input and add a melee combat input because we will need some of these extra inputs. Okay, uh, cool. Let's go to in vector melee combat components a melee manager. And we can see that these default hitboxes are created for us automatically when adding a melee manager component. These default hitboxes are used for the default combat. In this new update v2.0, we already have these animations for you guys. Let's take a look. And the full body layer, attacks. Uh, now we have strong attacks and weak attacks. You can set up those inputs here. Weak attack inputs is the mouse and RB on the joystick. And strong attack input is the alpha one key code because I don't know, <laughs> I can find a good key code to map this on the keyboard. So you can change this here. And the joystick is RT. Since it's an axis, we need to check as axis, okay? Let's go into weak attacks, unarmed, you can add other types of attacks here. This is the, the default one, it will always be the, the zero. The other attack IDs will be other numbers, okay? Unarmed, and here we have a pretty simple combo, it's left punt, right punt, and left kick. Let's go here, open default input. You can set the default damage. If you're using a NPC, you can set the default distance to attack. This stamina cost is only for the player. So how much stamina this attack will cost and how much time the stamina will take to recover. Defense rate is how much your character can absorb from the enemy's attack. And defense range is the angle of your character's defense. Well, let's take a look and see if this works. Well, you can see that the hitbox will appear and disappear during a period of time. This time it will, it's assigned here. It's the start damage and end damage. You need to synchronize this with your animation. So let's take a look into our animation here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, we can see that we want to enable the, the, the damage around here, so it's around 30 to 40 percent. You can you can check this number here, and disable around here because he's already punch six to six to seven percent. You will assign those numbers here, and you can see the results here in the same view in real time, it's pretty cool, huh? Allow movement at. This will allow your character to move a little bit and rotate while the animation is playing. So let's say that I want my character to move when it reaches half of the length from 0 to 1, half is 0 0.5, and when it reaches half of the animation, I am free to rotate my character to align with my target and go to my next attack. And damage multiplier will multiply the total damage in this specific attack. You can also set this on the weapon. Uh, recoil ID and reaction ID. Recoil is when your target or your enemy is blocking and you attack, it will trigger a recoil animation. If your target is not blocking, it will take the damage, it will trigger a reaction ID. So let's say that I have here a left punch 
and I want to trigger a specific recoil or reaction animation to this we can check here a full body big hit reaction like this one the character will take the punch and take a few step back or we have a here on the upper body layer a small hit reaction which will make the character still be able to walk around because we'll trigger the the animation only in the upper body okay so if you want to trigger a small hit reaction the ID is zero and a big hit reaction the ID is one okay here we have a few variations because we add a trigger di direction which is pretty cool because if you take a punch from behind the character will go a few, ste few steps forward uh, and so on with the direction he, he takes the punch so let's go back to our options here uh, make sure to check what type of melee attack are you using uh, is it is a animation with weapon or it is a w animation with a body part for example if you have a zombie and you want to attack with a head like a bite animation you can create a new body part using the head just make sure that your character also have a head hitbox you can create one here it's pretty cool um, add extra body member and uh, you can use this on generic or a humanoids let's create on the head if your character is humanoid it will assign your head automatically you hit create and a hitbox it's here you can customize your hitbox to to fit better in your character let's go back here and attack name this is pretty cool because attack name it works with our hit damage particle so on the basic locomotion hit particle damage every time you take damage this will trigger a particle animation so we have one for example here it's blood splash you can take a look here it's pretty cool go to your character and you can add custom hit effects and the hit name will work with the attack name you can customize this to to my custom custom effect so you will put a custom effect here and every time you take a damage that cause a custom effect it will trigger your custom hit particle okay pretty cool huh let's go back here and ignore the fence will make your attack go through even if your target is blocking a active ragdoll pretty obvious it will activate the ragdoll of your target reset trigger this is interesting and uh, sometimes when you're attacking an enemy you're just like clicking and clicking and pushing the button like a maniac and uh, even if the this animation finishes it will go through again and play the first animation again because it was triggered so to avoid this make sure that your last attack of the combo has a reset attack trigger okay now let's create a weapon for our character go to invector melee combat create melee weapon now remember this works just like the character you can't assign a already prefab of a weapon here like we have a prefabs here or weapons if you assign a object that already contains a hitbox already contains the melee weapon it will not work you need to assign the fbx model so let's go to our 3d models the weapons let's use your katana as as example um, my katana here has a holder that we do not want right now 
I will create a video tutorial showing how to set up a holder. But let's focus on the weapon right now. Our katana here already has the pivot in the right position here, but some of your weapons may not come this way. So it's very simple, just create a empty game object and put the katana inside. Here you can reset the position and make sure that your pivot of your gaming object is correct. Okay, let's create then our weapon. Hit create. It will create another gaming object. Let's delete, let's delete the, the previous one. And we have this huge hitbox that we can simply adapt to our needs. Now that we set up our hitbox, we can put it inside our katana. Because then when you move, our hitbox will move together. I will not go through each variable here because it's pretty simple to use. And if you don't know what this variable does, you can just mouse over to see more information about it. Um, here you can have the damage options. And if you need a extra hitbox, you can just duplicate the, the original one and don't forget to add into the list of hitboxes. To equip a weapon to your character is really simple. After you create a prefab of your weapon, drag and drop into the scene and then drag it into the hand bone that you want to use. In this case, we want this one. Right hand. Reset the position and position the weapon just like you want. You can turn it off the gizmos of the hitbox to make it easier to see. Hit play and the melee manager will automatically assign this weapon as your current weapon. On the next tutorial, we will see how to pick up collectibles. Equip, unequip, drop and destroy items. Okay, see you there.